Hey, Rick Rodriguez here. I want to make this quick video about making extra money from home and and uh, just like cut through the the BS and um, explain to to uh, people that um, if you need to make extra money, then um, you're gonna have to get creative and you're gonna have to work basically. But you can work for yourself, right? Um, Quite a, quite a while back, uh, I wrote this ebook called Craigslist Cashflow because um, I needed some money. <laughs> I needed a lot of money. <laughs> no, I needed you know to pay my bills, and uh, I probably got fired from my job or something like that. I was always getting fired from my job, even though I worked in surgery for 25 years. I would wise off to the supervisor, or I would save a patient and not use conventional um, licensed medical. Um, Methodology, let's say. <laughs> you fired boy. <laughs> Anyways, um, so you know, almost all of us, I think, have had times in our lives where, like, we didn't want to use credit, dude, and uh, like, and we have all the stuff around our house that we don't really need, and um, you put it on Craigslist and sell it. I mean, I I made five G's in a month that way. Then. Like, I really didn't have that much stuff because I'm not that much of a pack rat. But, um, I have some stuff, you know, that I could sell. You know, a couple extra surfboards right now I have on Craigslist and a, a water pump and, you know, some other, some other stuff. Um, I think I sold the water pump already, uh, last month the, that I had laying around that I didn't need. And, um, we, uh, sold that and, and made a couple hundred dollars. But, um, almost anyone can go up on Craigslist. Um, and look around and see what other people are selling in your area. That's what's sort of the neat thing. And then uh, you can see, well, gosh, everybody wants to buy these, you know, Barbie dolls or whatever. And um, I found lots of ways to make money on Craigslist, but the quickest way is with um, with physical products. You know, cars, boats, <laughs> planes. <laughs> Serious now? <laughs> planes cost a lot of money. <laughs> I sold uh, boats uh, on Craigslist, bought and sold boats and cars, of course. Never a plane, no. <laughs> my friend brought a, bought a plane on eBay, and I went to pick it up uh, with my car. But uh, that's another story. But, but um, there's, a, you know, a couple things about Craigslist, you know, a couple uh, precautions that I, that I recommend for some people. And uh, sometimes, you, you know, if you're selling a big item, you have to have people over to your house. Sorry. But if you're selling, um, you know, a guitar or, um, gosh, I, I can't think of anything right now, a surfboard or, you know, signs like are behind me or something like that, you know, uh, you, you can meet someone somewhere, and, and uh, that's what we've always done at a public place. You know, like, uh, we'll, we'll go, you know, down the road, and it's easier for people, too, to find because we live off the beaten path. And we'll, we'll meet them at, you know, uh, a store, and... Uh, they can look over the item and uh, buy it or not buy it, and th that's worked out pretty well for us. Um, and uh, we we always take cash, you know, you don't take credit or money orders. And uh, common sense. Uh, sometimes you can trade and barter. We've traded and traded and bartered for things on Craigslist, um, and uh, people are pretty cool about that. Uh, they used to have a trading and bartering section. I haven't looked in there in a while, but mostly. Um, if you don't have things in your home, you know, that you have to sell, like some people live in an apartment or something like that, they don't have anything to sell, then um, try to sell other people's things. Um, I had pretty good uh, success going around the neighborhood, of course, just after a hurricane and Florida, a bunch of wreck stuff in people's yards, you know. I had pretty good success going around and asking people, hey, would you like me to move that for you? I could you know, uh, and put it for sale, I'd put it for sale on Craigslist and um, sell it right at their house, you know, and give them a percentage. It could be a car or a boat or a plane, like I said, a plane. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, you get the idea. You sort of have to be creative, you know, and you have to use caution, you know. Uh, we, I've never... Um, Sold stuff on Craigslist that I that I mail, like you know, through the snail mail, uh, out of the state. I, I usually sell physical items that um, that I have or somebody else has that in the in the proximity where I live, 
or uh, sometimes um, I, you can generate leads with Craigslist too with ads and have them reply to your email and um, that's a way to make money and network too but the fastest way is just to sell stuff that you have that you don't want and that somebody else wants it's always a good idea okay I hope you got some value out of this if you guys uh, I wrote a uh, something in my eye my eyes are real dried out today from surfing uh, I wrote a, a book that I was selling uh, quite a few years ago on the internet and it's it was called Craigslist cash flow and um, I give it away for free now and I re-edited it and um, I'll leave a link down there you could go to my website and download it and uh, check it out it it says pretty much uh, what what I was uh, telling you uh, right now there's probably a couple other uh, tips and tricks in there that I put in there if you want to see it all right thank you so click the link below and I'll take you to uh, my Craigslist cash flow um, uh, post on my blog and you can download my ebook the famous Craigslist cash flow all right Aloha